Welcome to Collectors of the Coast. I'm Cash. Uh, today we're going to talk about what's in a box of Modern Horizons 2. Uh, we're going to go through it, uh, a bit of a product guide on what to buy, what's in the boxes, uh, and uh, you know why you should buy one over the other a little bit. I'll give you a little bit of my, my thought process. Uh, any of the uh, products that's been coming out recently, I've found personally, I think uh, that just the math, how it works out, if you want a particular uh, rare or mythic you've been looking for you're looking for playing the game more than just collecting um, and you're looking for specific specific cards to come um, your best value has generally been set boosters for the last little while or or, or uh, more than draft boosters more than collectors collectors you're going to get more of special treatments and stuff like that and and fun full art cards and all that kind of stuff uh, pure value set boosters have been good It'll probably be the same in uh, Modern Horizons 2, uh, just for pure value. We are talking about a premium set, and actually the um, uh, it could switch the math a little bit just because the the collector boosters are about one and a half times what the uh, set and draft boosters are compared to normally they're about double. Uh, they've been on all the other uh, pr normal products, um, with the exception of maybe Double Masters last year, which is again a premium product where it kind of worked out the same. Uh, double Masters. People have definitely liked the regular boxes better than the, the VIP overall. If you just see where the value is at, they, they're now they're about on par. Uh, when they came out, it was kind of like $300 to uh, $500 for a, I guess, a box of four packs of, of Double Masters. So, um, yeah, so, I mean, take that with a grain of salt. It, it may work out like that in time where those cheaper ones, because you get so many more of them, uh, has more value. But we'll see. Uh, anyway, so I want to get into the product themselves. Uh, first, what I want to go over is set boosters because they've been probably my favorite to open uh, recently. So we're going to go over what's in a pack or what's in, in what you know what you would expect in a box. So, uh, so any set booster of Modern Horizons two, um, you're going to get an art card. Uh, each pack's going to have an art card. Uh, there's about five percent of them that are going to have the the gold uh, stamp. Uh, or artist signature, you could get a planeswalker symbol on it. Uh, typically, in most of the sets now, those they seem to be around $2 uh, when you get one of the stamped ones, uh, some of the better ones a little bit more, um, but they're not holding a, a high value, so not a big deal in your pack. Um, you'll get a basic land, and 15% uh, of the basic lands, they say, are going to be foil. So you have an 85% chance of regu regular, 15% of foil. The, the lands look nice, uh, so you'd probably enjoy the lands. Uh, there will be six common and uncommon cards. Uh, it can be any combination. So you could get six uncommons. You could get six uh, commons, I guess. Uh, they will be, there's sort of a theme to the commons. So they've been doing that now uh, the last couple sets. They've done uh, themes of the uncommons. Um, and this will be the same. There's some kind of theme to it. Um, they can be pretty loosely themed from what I've seen in the, in the other sets. So uh, pretty interesting stuff uh, going on. So pretty good so far uh no huge value there certainly not uh, any value to cover your uh you know ten dollar a pack uh cost so uh the next one and these are the ones that we're starting to uh that people are going to want to know about uh the next one is there's going to be a, a wild card so the wild card's a big slot the wild card can have anything in it there's a 30 percent chance of a rare or mythic it can be a full art it can be a full art foil all kinds of goodness in that slot um, and it's going to be, you know, it's kind of the, one of the, it's probably the main sought after slot in the packs. Uh, and it's, uh, it's good. It's going to be some good stuff. We're going to hit some, sometimes you're going to be like, eh, some, but sure enough, once or twice, every box, you're going to be, you know, that might be your, that might be your wow slot. So, uh, the next slot is a new to modern rep uh, reprint. So, uh, there'll be uh, 40, there's 42 of them. Uh, they're cards that have been brought from the past and they want to bring them into mo the modern game. Uh, and so there's 42 of them. Um, there is a chance of getting, again, borderless alternate arts in this slot. Um, a relatively small chance, uh, but there's still a chance. So uh, there we go. Uh, the next one is a Head Turner Showcase Common or Uncommon. I don't know. You can get some of the, uh, the Head Turner, the different arts and stuff in them. I don't know, never a big slot in these packs. You'll get a traditional foil card. So this will have a uh, traditional foil card in it. Uh, it can be any rarity. Uh, it can be rare, mythic, uh, showcase treatment of any rarity, borderless rare, mythic rare, uh, all kinds of, uh, all the different rarities in it. Uh, and uh, uh, not bad. So uh, 
judging by the set boosters in the in the, in the previous sets, um, sometimes you can get up to uh, you can get anywhere between one and four rare mythics in a pack on a rare occasion. Uh, you're probably talking once every probably what I've opened maybe once every like three boxes or something. You get uh, they didn't put the math. Uh, I haven't got math on this, uh, but it seems like about once every three boxes, you're going to get one pack that has four rares or mythics in it. Uh, I've had, yeah, I've had, I think I've had up to three, I want to say I've had three mythics in a pack before. I think I've only had two. I think I've had like two mythics and two rares. Uh, so you could get a pack itself that's worth, you know, $50, $60, $100 of cards just in that one pack. Um, certainly at the early price uh, point for this set, um, you could get some pretty good stuff in that pack. So um, that does happen on occasion. Um, the last one is a token uh, card, uh, or it could be the ad card that's usually just a, a throwaway, um, or a card from the list. So you got a one in four chance of getting a card from the list. Um, they have added some pretty decent uh, list cards in. I'm going to try to do a video in the next couple of days on the list cards. Uh, there's some pretty interesting ones that have come uh, come in the list this time. Uh, so, and that's your that's your set booster. Uh, set boosters uh, in Canada. Uh, going for around three hundred dollars. I know in the states, I think they're over two hundred. So uh, it's uh, they're pretty pricey in this, uh, but they're probably going to be at least probably going to be not bad to open. Uh, it'll be interesting to see how they uh, how they age. Um, from what I've seen so far, uh, I have seen a couple of opened boxes of the set boosters, and uh, uh, everyone's looking for those fetch lands. Uh, the fetch lands, uh, I saw two in the one box, uh, and that's the, I think that was the main one I saw. There was two. Uh, so pretty good. Uh, certainly, I mean, you're going to get uh, fetch lands, two fetch lands, probably $100 of your value, maybe something like that, $80, $100, depending on which, which one you get. Uh, so pretty good. Uh, fetch lands are going to, again, go down a little bit more, I think, in, in cost um, as they did last year with the Zendikar Rising. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see them just go down maybe maybe 25%. Um, but uh, hey, lots of people play on them. They're not going to get, uh, they're not going to get completely killed. Cable Coffers is going to go down probably 50% uh, in the short term uh, before maybe recovering. So, uh, all right. Uh, next is the Draft Boosters. All right, so the draft boosters, um, they'll contain, uh, they're kind of a similar setup to draft boosters as we all have them. There is 10 commons in the pack. Uh, there's apparently 101 different commons in Modern Horizons 2, so you're going to need those 110 commons. Uh, you could get showcase and, and, and fun treatments uh, to them. Uh, there's, I think there's 23 of them they're saying are, that are uh, in some kind of alternate treatment, so you can get them, I think, uh, something like one out of every three. Uh, there's three uncommons in the packs. Uh, there's apparently 80 different uncommons in Modern Horizons uh, 2, so you, you got a, a reasonable chance of getting, uh, you, you're going to get, there's a fairly good pool, you'll probably get most of them when you get a box, you'll get uh, probably, I don't know, like 80% or 90% of the different uncommons, so if you get a full box. Um, the next slot uh, is a, uh, similar to the set boosters, there's a new to modern reprint card, so there's uh, the 42 uh, new to Modern Horizons 2 uh, new to mo the modern format cards, uh, you're going to get one of those. Could be up to a mythic in that slot. Um, so this is where you start to get more than one rare or mythic. Uh, the next slot is probably the one everyone really looks for. Generally, a rare or mythic rare. Um, you're going to expect. Uh, as I didn't mention in this in the set boosters. Typically, you seem to be getting probably somewhere between five and eight mythics in a box. Um, in the in the uh, draft boosters, typically you're only you're four or five. So this is where you, you kind of lose your value. You don't get as many rares and, and stuff. So um, there are 60 rares and 20 mythics in the set. So um, you've got, you're going to pull four or five of them. You might pull uh, five of 20 uh, mythics. Uh, so you're open at least four boxes, five boxes, if you wanted, say, one of every mythic, uh, if you're a collector. And odds are it's much more than that because you never pull everything like exactly as you want. So, um uh, uh, apparently 9% of the time in the rare mythic slot, uh, you will, they'll be replaced by a full art or borderless or a retro frame, uh, one of those. So if you imagine 36 packs, 9%, um, you're talking about, uh, probably three times in a box, uh, that you're going to get one of those, uh, you're going to get some kind of alternate art or uh, foil rare, maybe four if you're lucky, five if you're super lucky. Okay. Um, one in three packs will have a traditional foil card. So it replaces one of the 10 commons in the pack. So it'll just kind of go in that in, in, at the back in one of the slots. And uh, it can be, 
uh, it can be any rarity. So you you could, in some cases, get as much as, it looks like, three rares in a pack, which is kind of good for draft boosters. Uh, particularly in the past, I remember like a Ravnica Allegiance, I remember getting two uh, Mythics in a pack, and that was awesome. Um, so they just kind of keep up in how many times you're going to get the rarity uh, rare cards. In reality, that actually decreases the, the it, it actually increases the print run of those rares and Mythics, so they're, they're a little bit more common. Uh, not super more common, but it, it does add up over time. Uh, and then you get a token or add card uh, in the back, which uh, very rarely holds any value. So we're not going to talk much about that. Still talking about uh, usually on average about $20 less uh, for a draft booster box than a set booster box. Uh, and uh, right now, at least in the math I'm seeing, about one and a half times uh, for a collector box. Uh, so let's get into the collector box. All right. So the collector boosters themselves... Uh, they're going to break down in, uh, da, 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 I think there's 16 cards in a pack. Uh, the uh, first card you're going to see is a foil double-sided token, uh, what we've seen in all the collector uh, boosters for, for quite a while now. Um, so we'll see that. There'll be four foil commons. Still don't know why they're putting commons in these packs. Uh, no one wants them. Uh, give us six uncommons, just something that's worth something. So... Uh, but there is four, so we're up to five. Uh, no value in the first five cards, uh, you're more than likely. Uh, next card is a sketch common or uncommon. Uh, small chance of some value there. Uh, not so exciting for me either. Uh, the We're getting into the good stuff. So uh, foil etched basic land. Um, I got to say, I've seen some of the foil etched basic land. They look pretty nice. Um, these lands uh, would not surprise me if they uh, if they were they ended up in the uh, sort of three to six dollar range uh, for the lands, especially the islands. Uh, so uh, some value there uh, in these packs, uh, similar to when you, you know when I was open Kaldheim, uh, we just did a Kaldheim opening, uh, and you you know those snow lands are going to be uh, you know a, a buck or two uh, for quite a while, and when the next set comes out that has snow stuff, they're going to have value again. So um, some just uh, you know. You're going to get whatever, maybe possibly as much as fifty dollars worth of value just in the basic lands uh, in the in the collector booster. So, you know, not bad. It's a, it's a Theros kind of situation uh, where we had those. Uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, anyway, the Theros Beyond Death lands. So, okay. Uh, next, uh, foil etched common or uncommon. Uh, again, not a big value there. So, all right. So let's get into the stuff that has some value to us. So. There will be an extended art rare. So you're going to get some kind of extended art rare. Uh, could be could be foil or non-foil, uh, I believe. I'm not 100% sure on my notes. Uh, I might be lying to I might be lying to you. Uh, I believe that I believe it comes in a I believe it comes in foil or non-foil. Alternate art borderless cards. I have a note here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the next one is a foil sketch or oh, I missed this one. Foil sketch or retro frame common or uncommon. So uh, some of those actually I think are going to hold some value. Uh, they're they're kind of different. Uh, certainly, uh, when we had these sketch cards in the past, they've they've held value. They're going to be a little more common now, so they're probably going to be driven down. They're not like the uh, mystery booster retail edition, but we're getting kind of that kind of. Uh, art in some of these um, so some of them you know are gonna are gonna be uh, sought after uh, so there'll be some value there okay um, one what's I got here one uh, foil etched rare or mythic rare uh, so you will get a etched card uh, either foil etched uh, or mythic so uh, could be could be rare mythic some of those mythics are gonna be nice and you know what, the etched is looking better, right? Than the Commander Legends one. You got tons of them, the Commander Legends, but uh, these ones, they, they seem to have sort of popped up a little bit, similar to the uh, Time Spiral Remasters uh, versions of them, uh, which uh, there is a little bit of, uh, I have I had like a very small amount of uh, curling on them, but very little. So uh, really nice there. We'll get a foil alt art frame rare or mythic rare. Uh, could be uh, could be a sketch, could be borderless, could be extended art, uh, could be the retro frame. Uh, so kind of exciting. Uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a crapshoot in these. Like it's just all over. Really hard to place. Uh, I'm I know myself. I find in these boxes now. You know what is my what do I like? Like what's my my favorite thing? What's gonna hold value long term? 
they, they've done a they've done a, a hell of a job of uh, muddying the waters um, where it gets to the point of you're, you're not sure what's good anymore um, where you know once upon a time it would be you know be like oh I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a one out of every 10 packs I'm gonna get a foil um, and that foil is gonna have some value whether it's even a common or, or rare because they're pretty rare uh, nowadays they, they're really muddy in the water there's so many different uh, collectible versions uh, it's it's pretty hard to tell so uh, the last part is and I don't know if I have the information here to do this uh, bear with me I'm gonna pause for a second all right uh, so the last product uh, is the uh, is the bundle so uh, the bundles are kind of nice uh, so the bundles especially in such an expensive set like this if you just you know you don't have the three four five hundred dollars you know it's a lot of money uh, the bundles might be a nice option in this case. Uh, sometimes the bundles aren't worth it. Uh, I didn't think it was worth it in, in uh, Strixhaven, uh, but in uh, in Modern Horizons 2, it, it might well be worth it. Uh, so you're going to get your 10 draft boosters. Uh, you, you're probably talking in and around, but time you pay taxes, you're probably talking in and around $100 Canadian, I don't know, maybe $80 American. Uh, you're going to get in the bundle, uh, there's some goodness in there, and I, I actually am going to get a bundle for myself. I know we're going to open it on the channel. Uh, so... There is, uh, there's a card storage box, uh, and there is an insert, or there, there's a, and it has all kinds of goodies in it. It says an insert called Squirrels of the World, so you can get some different inserts. It'll be interesting. Um, no idea what that is, and uh, might be fun, might be collectible down the line. Who knows? Maybe 20 years down the line, someone's paying you $50 for your Squirrels on the World uh, insert. Uh, you never know with these things. People collect all kinds of stuff, so... Uh, inside the bundle, you're going to get a colorful, oversized spin-down die. I haven't actually seen a picture of the die yet, um, but it's, uh, I'm sure, given that it's a premium product, it, it'll be one of the better die uh, dice that have been brought out. Uh, I know Strixhaven, to me, was really boring. It was just like brown. Yay. So, uh, looking forward to seeing that. Um, there is 10, you'll get, uh, sorry, you'll get some basic lands. Two copies each of each classic uh, land illustration, so you're going to get uh, two of each, uh, both in traditional foil and non-foil. So you're going to get uh, 40 lands. Uh, I'm not sure, actually. It, it's, it's very unclear. My notes are very unclear um, on how they put it out. I'm guessing you're going to get 40 lands, 20 foil, 20... Is that right? No, 10 foil, 10 non-foil. I don't know. Sorry, it's either 20 or 40 lands. I... I I apologize. Uh, it's it's really unclear. The lands actually look really great in this set. So some of them are going to be uh, pretty nice. Oh, I got more uh, some uh, more definition here. 20 traditional foil, the basic lands, 20 non-foil. Okay. Um, there will be a bundle alternate uh, for a uh, promo card of Yusri Fortune's Flame. It looks like a pretty interesting card. Uh, pretty fun. And, and if you can only get it in this, it's, which is not clear, if you only get it in the bundles, then he might have some value to him. Uh, if not, which will probably be in, in the regular packs, uh, maybe not quite as much, but uh, pretty fun. Pretty fun coin flip card. Uh, actually got to add them to my coin flip video when I do it. So um, you're going to get a card storage box. Uh, and uh, typically in these premium boxes, I know my, uh, I know in the uh, gift, both the gift edition boxes, the uh, Throne of Eldraine one, the Zendikar Rising, they're pretty nice. So if this is anything like that, uh, then we'd be pretty excited about it. So you're going to get your 10 packs of cards. And uh, yeah, and you, you got something to store them in. So pretty fun. If you're going to just get one thing and you don't have a too, too much money to spend, this might be the thing. You're going to get the die. You're going to get the stuff you need to play. So uh, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, we'll have some openings coming up. We'll have lots of information more about Modern Horizons 2. Super looking forward to the uh, the D&D set coming up. We'll probably even have more for that set. Um, it looks pretty, it looks like it's going to be pretty cool. So uh, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Everyone have a magical day. If you are not subscribed, subscribe to our channel. Hit the like button. Uh, do the uh, Ring the bell. And if you want to get involved in the community, uh, maybe do some box breaks with us, open some product, uh, and uh, just have some fun, uh, join us on Discord. Everyone have a magical day. Thank you for watching Collectors of the Coast. Please subscribe and like below. If you like our content, please consider becoming a patron. Uh, patrons help us grow the channel. Uh, and we, uh, I'll get great deals and more. Uh, check us out on Discord if you'd like to become a part of the community. The information to join the Discord is in the description below.